the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer hanging out with you today. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. We're going to give you some timeless sales rules from six important customer oriented people. People you are probably quite familiar with their names. Of course, Jack Welsh, Steve Jobs, Henry Ford, Jeff Bezos. They have these time tested sales principles. Uh, uh, take advantage from or take, take a, advice from any one of those. Right. Right. If they said, Eric. Yes. Do this. Do it. You betcha. Absolutely. How you betcha. High? Right. You know, but for most of us, you know, we're entrepreneurs, we're self-made, we're self-employed. And so, Nobody's bossing us around. Nobody's <laughs> telling us what to do. If we do or don't, it's, you know, who's going to know? Well, look at your bottom line. It's obvious and, and more than just you are familiar with it. So let's give you some, some sales rules because sales are the way we're going to grow our business. 90% of everything that we are challenged with right now could be solved with, with more sales. So Steve Jobs, he says the number one thing you need to know is understand your customers' needs better than any other company. Amen. Okay. And he, you know, he practiced what he preached. the The fact of the matter is that uh, you know, th there's a lot of folks who use focus groups to design products. Right? When you know, just tell us what it is people are looking for. Doesn't mean they listen to the customers. You, you know, just having a focus group doesn't mean that the people are listening. You got to ask regularly. What are your needs? What are your goals? How is it working? Is Do you like this? Can it be done more elegantly, more efficiently, more profitably? And uh, if you understand their needs better than, than any other company, you win. I love that. You know, how can we do this more elegantly, more efficient, mm -hmm. efficiently and more profitably, which means they're always asking. We're not same old, same old. We're not doing just because we used to do it this way. That's how we're going to continue to do it. Always asking, always upping it, and always doing it better than any other company. Henry Ford, he says, a business absolutely devoted to service will have only one worry about profit, and they will be embarrassingly large. A business absolutely devoted to service will have only one worry about the profits. They'll be embarrassingly large. I'd like that. Do you like that? I like that. He says uh, that uh, he was most famous for telling customers that they could only order their cars in black, black right? Sure. You can have any color you want as long as it's black. And um, But he realized he couldn't please everyone all the time. So he targeted what really mattered to his customers. And as to what was really mattered to his customers was affordable and reliable transportation. Right. And so he provided the service that his customers need. And he came in that space of, of you know, if, if I would have asked my customers, they would have said, I, I want faster horses. Right. Right. And so he had to take it one step further and really paying attention to what was it that really mattered to them. And, and so he, if it wasn't just listening to them, it wasn't just going with what they had and tweaking it. It was really giving them something that they really valued. Mm. And by doing that, by devoting to only worry about just that one thing, then his profits, he says, were embarrassingly large. And Jack Welch says, if I had to run a company on three measures, those measures would be customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, and cash flow. You know, uh, one of the champions of so-called Six Sigma metrics, Mr. Welch, understood that the primary goal in any such program needed to be the increase in customer satisfaction. And here at Experience Pros, we differentiate that word a little bit differently. We say and, and customer satisfaction has a net value of zero because we're not looking for satisfied customers. We're looking for loyal fanatics, right? Okay, we but want those the, people to go beyond that. At the time oh, yeah, you know, of absolutely. this, right? And, and so satisfying customers was the, that, that was, that that was, was the, the bar, goal. right? Absolutely. Sure. Uh, Jeff Bezos, he says, if you build a great experience, Customers tell each other. Amen. Right? It's the social media age. And as the Amazon CEO well knows, referral advertising is more important than, than ever. Many customers are eager to share both good and bad experiences with the entire planet. That's exactly right. <laughs> 
Down uh, right. He says, there's nothing, there's nothing better than, than that customer referral. We've, we've always agreed with that. You, you bet. Right? Absolutely. That customer conversation is the number one. Just most of us don't have any clue how to get it. We do a good job and hope, but creating, creating that experience that is so overwhelmingly positive that they can't help but go out and share it. That's what we're after. The late Zig Ziglar says people do things for their reasons, not yours. Uh, you know, it was, it was funny in this uh, article, it says I recently had a client tell me that he just needed customers to understand the difficulties he was facing. <laughs> says, I almost spit my tea. <laughs> the last thing any customer wants to hear is how difficult your job is or what your struggles are. No right? kidding. No Give them kidding. Sweetness and light and, and they might come back. <laughs> Right. You know, isn't it funny that we want we want to tell them our woes. We want them to understand our our pain, our needs, as if that's going to motivate them to buy from us. That's going to motivate them to send more customers to this struggling salesperson. It doesn't work that way. In fact, they're going to go running the other way. They want to do business with people that are positive, that are growing, that are excited. Yeah. Give them sweetness and light. And then finally, David Ogilvy, he says, the customer isn't a moron. She is your wife. What? <laughs> One of the, uh, let's see, you realize that while customers may lack specific knowledge of an industry, they do know something far more important. The reasons they will buy or they won't buy. Yeah, true. Anyone can belittle a customer's lack of experience. Successful salespeople or patiently and respectfully give them the information they need so they can make an informed decision. How many times has a salesperson tried to make you feel stupid, right? And you think that that's going to win that customer, right? Dale Carnegie, win friends and you'll influence people. Don't make anybody feel stupid. I know a lot of times we don't know, right? And just because we don't know doesn't mean we're not stupid. We haven't learned it yet. And so take the time to give them the information so that they can be more informed. They can be educated. You are there as a as a, a facilitator, as somebody to share, as somebody to help, and if you're just there to sell, then you're doing you're you're in the wrong business. You're really in the wrong business. It doesn't matter what business you're in. You're in the relationship business, and those things that help uh, establish and then develop those relationships are really the things that last long after. And, you know, even even some of these people who uh, I mentioned, Zig Ziglar. Zig, uh, no longer with us, but his legacy goes on because he understood what it was to pour value into somebody instead of just a transaction. We will return after the top of the hour news. You are listening to the Experience Pros radio show with Angel Tussie and Eric Kramer, the home of positive business talk. For the archives of this broadcast, or if you'd like to know more about how we can help you become an established influencer in your industry, Simply go to experiencepros.com. Back after this. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. 